Alright, so I just got done making a daily gaming report episode. And just out of nowhere, Phil Spencer on Twitter posted this out. We're on a journey to put the fantastic creations of developers into the hands of players around the world, no matter where they play. And he linked this blog post made by Microsoft. So let's go read it. He says some pretty significant things and reassures fans about the issues regarding the deal with Activision Blizzard. Now there's a lot here, but we're going to be focusing on the main things said. So he mentions how the problem occurred, saying that our announcement in January that we intended to acquire Activision Blizzard was an important milestone in our journey to do so. Since then, regulators, game developers, and players have been asking what the acquisition means for the industry and most importantly for players. We intend to make Activision Blizzard's much-loved library of games, including Overwatch, Diablo, and Call of Duty, available in Game Pass, and to grow those gaming communities by delivering even more value to players. We hope to continue growing Game Pass, extending its appeal to mobile phones and any connected device. But this is where the important things are said. We've heard that this deal might take franchises like Call of Duty away from places where people currently play them. That's why, as we've said before, we are committed to making the same version of Call of duty available on playstation now we need to focus on what he said here the same version so he made sure he doesn't say like exclusive content is going to be away from playstation he assures the fans that the same version of call of duty on xbox and pc will be available on playstation on the same day the game launches elsewhere so no timed exclusives as well. We will continue to enable people to play with each other across platforms and across devices. We know players benefit from this approach because we've done it with Minecraft, which continues to be available on multiple platforms and has expanded to even more since Mojang joined Microsoft in 2014. And this is true, I have said this multiple times before. Minecraft is a clear example of why Call of Duty is very likely to never be an official Microsoft exclusive, meaning that it won't come out on PlayStation or Nintendo Nintendo Switch or other consoles. He continues, as we extend our gaming storefront across new devices and platforms, we will make sure that we do so in a manner that protects the ability of developers to choose how to distribute their games. And he specifically mentions this, industry leaders including Tencent and Sony continue to expand their deep and extensive libraries of games as well as other entertainment brands and franchises, which are enjoyed by players everywhere. We believe that a thorough review will show that the combination of Microsoft and Activision Blizzard will Will benefit the industry and players so yeah some pretty significant stuff is being said here i think the argument that games like call of duty will be exclusive on xbox consoles is out the window here we can be sure that call of duty will forever be on playstation unless maybe 10 years passed and phil spencer no longer works at microsoft it will be another person maybe then things will change but it's looking like call of duty will stay on playstation for a while even after this deal gets closed now as you know we have reported many times before about the issues of this deal and how many people including sony have come out and started questioning this deal so i'm not surprised that phil spencer made these comments he has to he wants to close this deal because it's a huge deal owning activision blizzard one of the most famous publishers with some of the best developers whether you like it or not they have some of the most successful developers out there i mean call of duty alone every single year even the worst call of duties they still sell and become the top selling on a yearly basis i mean look at the sales of games like advanced warfare infinite warfare or the recently released which i don't even know the name of the recently released call of duty to be honest but i heard that it's not doing so well even though i heard those things i'm pretty sure that so many people bought it still and it's probably in the top five best selling games this year people buy call of duty no matter how bad or good they are they will buy it it's kind of like fifa no matter how many people complain about fifa people still buy fifa because it's one of the only ways and best ways to play that sport same thing with call of duty it is one of the only and best ways to play first person shooters with an insane player count on a yearly basis it's kind of like an addiction you can't go away from call of duty if you're really invested in it i personally was a huge call of duty fan and no longer play it but i'm in the large minority here the majority of people keep buying call of duties because they love that playstyle and the grind of that game. Now personally, if a Call of Duty game is good, I will get it and play it. I will admit that every single Call of Duty is fun. Yes, even Infinite Warfare. I had so much fun with the online of Infinite Warfare. Now, I don't know about the story. I didn't really enjoy any Call of Duty story in a while. But in terms of the multiplayer, in my opinion, every Call of Duty multiplayer is amazing. That's why this deal is huge and Microsoft really wants to close it in. And I think they will. With statements such as this, pretty much making sure that 100% every single Call of Duty game will come to PlayStation and other platforms, I feel more confident that this deal will happen than before. 
that's for sure. But do leave your thoughts in the comment section below about what you think of what's being said here. Do you agree with what Phil Spencer is saying? And are you happy that Call of Duty will come to all platforms and will not be an exclusive thing? That's all for this video. I know it's not a daily gaming report episode, but this just happened out of nowhere and I just finished filming a daily gaming report episode. And obviously I didn't include this news in it because it just happened right after I finished recording. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like as that will be much appreciated and will help in supporting the channel. Also subscribe to the channel for your daily gaming news and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to never miss any future uploads. That's all for me now. I'll catch you next time.